In this video, we'll bounce the equation for CS2 plus NH3. This is carbon disulfide, and this is ammonia gas. So to bounce the equation, let's first count the atoms up on each side. We have one carbon, two sulfur atoms, one nitrogen, and three hydrogens. On the product side, we have just the one carbon over here. Sulfur, we have one here, and we have one here. So we have one plus one, we have two sulfur atoms. Make sure you count all of those. And don't be fooled by nitrogen. We have one nitrogen in this ammonium ion, and then one over here. So we have a total of two nitrogen atoms. Hydrogens, we have two here and four here. So you have to be very careful, count everything up correctly to get this balanced equation. It looks like it might be good to start with the nitrogen. We could put a two right here. So one times two, that would balance the nitrogen atoms. And then we have hydrogen, this two applies to everything, three times two, that would give us six. And actually we're done, this equation's balanced. And where people have the most problems with a problem like this here, an equation like this here, is they don't count the atoms up correctly. We have a sulfur here and here. Often they'll forget this sulfur. Or with the nitrogens, they'll count this one, but forget this one. So got to be very careful as you add these atoms up when you balance the equation for CS2 plus NH3. This carbon disulfide plus ammonia gas. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.